still got some left in me. Okay. Okay, just arrived at training. Quick breakdown of today's episode. Got less with Ben now. Then we go go back to the house, got less with Bob for two hours. Then after that we got a less with Shah in Sabre. Shah is my teammate, he's just really good at Sabre and he wants to give me a go at Sabre. So we got the three the three weapons today. The Holy Trinity. Uh, I didn't sleep last night. I'm feeling dead. But I want to talk a little bit about that, which is about when you feel like there's literally nothing left in the tank. How hard you can really push yourself. How much there really is left to give. Um, just got to got to get a new blade um, because if you remember when I was in France, my my sabre, which I only have one of, I just, I snapped it by accident. So at the Lyon Paul shop, which is just below the training thing, so it's really convenient getting that now. So. Yeah. First off, how cool is this chameleon blade? I wouldn't, I wouldn't usually go for something that colourful, but uh, head coach said that they're originally designed to stop rust, and these ones rust quite badly, so that's what he recommended. Uh, that's for my sabre lesson later. Just had my foil lesson with Ben. I'm human garbage uh, this morning at fencing, so. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, I'm just not, my mind's not in it, I don't know why, just feeling exhausted, but push myself hard, and actually got a little bit out of it at the end, like, kind of, it all came together a little bit, but I think it takes me a little bit of time to sometimes get, you know, start firing, uh, prior to that, I'm just pretty much asleep, my mind's all over the place, and like, I know what to do, I just can't do it. But anyway, I'm gonna load this stuff up and get back for my epe lesson with Ben, uh, with Bob. Quick stop to get some coffee. I didn't buy a cookie. <laughs> um, bit of housekeeping, just quickly. Uh, this weekend, as in like s soon, I have uh, a national training camp. So basically, two weeks before the competition, me and let me get the cup holder out. Uh, Basically, the whole GB squad and a couple of other guys who are like younger fencers uh, all kind of have a training camp, so that's happening. 
Uh, also then, a week after that, I then have a bit more time, I, I'm taking a bit of rest next week because I'm tapering uh, before Brazil, the World Cup in Brazil. That's on the 20th, flying out there for six days. I'm gonna bring you guys with me, obviously. Um, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it for the time being. But then there's lots of exciting stuff after that. I'm going to Italy, uh, we've got another World Cup in Warsaw, and we might be going to Ukraine for a training camp. Uh, lots of lots of good stuff. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna get back, have a coffee, have this, not have this cookie, because uh, I got Bob coming over soon, and I need to get my energy levels up. I need to wake up. Just quickly, the coffee at this place is crazy good. Honestly, if any of you find yourself in Camden ever, coffee jar, it's just no words. While on the topic of just talking about, you know, having enough energy to continue, having enough fuel in the tank and feeling like you've got nothing left, I wanted to tell you guys a story about um, something that happened in Italy. Uh, and it was like last year, I was at this competition. Well, it wasn't a competition, it was actually a training camp. I don't know if, I don't think I've told you this story before, but essentially it was a training camp and we went out there to just give it 100%. So we trained really, really hard for three or four days and we just battered ourselves. Morning till evening, we just gave it 100%. And I, I was dead, like, all the other coaches were coming up to me and saying, hey, go, stop training now. You're done for the day. You're too tired. You're just a mess. And my arm was just falling apart. And it was a time when I was really pushing myself. I, I gave it everything. And then just before the last day, they said, oh, by the way, the last day, that's going to be a competition. And I was like... Well, if you told me this earlier, it would be great because I've I've given it 100% this week. My body's destroyed. I, I won't be able to perform tomorrow, but I will do it for fun, whatever. So we went in there and I, I was pretty sure I, I gave, I'd given 100% already the last couple of days. I had nothing left to give. But I thought I'd do it for fun anyway. I pushed myself. I did all right in the pools and I got my first DE. And in that DE, I was against a Finnish guy. And he was an old coach, so he had a really nice technique. And I went in there, I was like, whatever, I'll give it whatever I can. And I ended up getting to 14-9 beating him. And I was, my hand was dead. I couldn't do any movements. All I could do was, and it was foil, so there's a priority, was counter-attack and block or lunge. And so I wouldn't usually have the priority. So it meant if he hit as well, it was his point. So I just, on guard prayer every time, went out the chair, went, went, went back rather to defend, and would just like kind of be doing this, like hoping that it hit. And then he got 14-10. I was like, fine. I still got four or five points on him. Then it went 14-11. Then 14-12. And I was still trying the same thing. I just couldn't do anything else. My hand was a mess. I was, you know, blocked. But then he'd get the point on. 14-12. 14-13. And eventually, on that last point, I managed to score a point. And I was just... I, I, was, I was super happy. Because it meant I was in the top eight then. Uh, and... After that match, I was dead. My hand, I couldn't even hold the blade. He was beating the blade in that match, and my blade was like, you know, it would go on the floor, and the referee would have to stop the match. I ran straight over to the medic after that, and I asked him to put ice on my hand. He was like, are you injured? I was like, no, I just can't move my hand. It's so fatigued. I've pushed it 100%. I've got nothing left. I was like, it was good to win that. It was good to get in the top eight. But, you know, now it's done. I've got nothing left. Like, I, I've already reached 100% capacity. And so I went to the next game thinking, whatever. And it was against one of my friends, actually, uh, one of the English guys out there with us. And he was fresh. He was ready. Uh, and I gave it 100% and I ended up actually beating him. And then, long story short, getting a bronze medal. What I'm trying to say is that sometimes when you think you've given it 100%, you've actually only given it about 40%. And that's actually something that they say in the Navy SEALs, that... It's the 40% rule. Your, when your body tells you you've given it 100%, that's it, that's nothing left to give, you're actually only on 40%. You've still got half again, and then a little bit more to give. And that was something that really visualized that for me, that I felt like I really like, I saw that. Because I, if you'd asked me at the beginning of the day, what have I got? Nothing, I'm dead. Then after the first match, I'm super dead now. And then I still managed to pull out the third match and, and win it. Um, so I just wanted to say to you guys that Today is a good example. When I woke up, I was like, I'm going to cancel training because I don't have anything left in the tank. I cannot perform. I cannot give any. I've got no energy. I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep for the last three weeks. <laughs> but if you go there and you push, you do 
sometimes, most of the time, 90% of the time, have something left to give. Uh, and sometimes when you think you're done, you're really not even half done. So that's pretty much where we're at today. I think, uh, yeah, uh, my coach is coming in an hour and we're gonna kind of see how far we can keep pushing it. Otherwise, I, f I mean, I like to have this attitude, but also I need to have this attitude. Otherwise I would get literally nothing done ever because I'm constantly tired and hurting all the time. So more of a necessity, but just this interesting thing to think about when you feel like you're hundred percent, I wanted to actually, actually I'm gonna to talk to you guys about it later because I've been rattling on for five minutes. I will see you guys downstairs at training. <laughs> Boys. I literally didn't even check in after I finished Epe because I finished Epe about five minutes ago, had some food, then Shah arrived. We did a bit of Sabre, like I said. Three weapons today, holy trinity. Like I said, and what we've been talking about the whole of today, I woke up this morning having not slept hardly much, been in a lot of pain, I could hardly even put my shoe on, my leg was hurting so bad. It's still hurting, but I just did a two hour lesson, about to do another hour and a bit of sparring, so. Still got some left in me. That concludes we have a visitor. <laughs> this is Camille. Have you been, you haven't been on the vlog, have you? Okay, she said she'd be very awkward and she's living up to all expectations. <laughs> um, just finished uh, the, all of the training, all of the training, all of the training uh, that I've done today. That's about six hours, uh, three hours with Shah, two hours with Bob doing Epe, and then another hour with Ben in the morning, or well, half an hour-ish, but you know, we drew it out. What I wanted to say is just to conclude is I woke up this morning in, in this mind frame of like, I've got nothing to give today. I can't push myself at all. Like I've got nothing left in the tank. There's gonna be nothing left of me. And it was the same when I entered that competition back in Italy a couple of uh, last year. But what I really wanted to show you guys today, and also I, I'm thinking of the way of actually showing you this, and I was going to do an experiment but I'm gonna save that for another day, maybe after my World Cup when I'm not actually training as much because it involves doing a, I, I can just, I'll, I'll let you in on it basically. Now, I feel like I had this experiment where I can do like around 20 pull-ups in one, in, in like one session, it would be like a good amount. 40 at a push, then I'd be pretty much dead. But what if I was to say, I'm not gonna leave until I do 100? I know I could do it, I'm pretty sure I could push to do 100, although it seems impossible. But what I want to show you is that it is possible if you just do it, if you just push yourself to do it, that you do have the energy in the tank, you do have the fuel, the mindset, the drive to be able to pull something off like that, even when you get to, say, 40% and you feel like, I just thought it'd be a good representation, I don't know, I need to think about it a little bit more. Anyway. Yeah, let today just show you that sometimes when you feel like you've got nothing left to give and you're completely out of energy and you're dead and you're thinking, I don't want to go, I don't want to do today, I'm just going to stay in bed. Actually, by going out there and doing it, you can kind of surprise yourself sometimes. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm going, to, I'm going to end the vlog there. I'm not going to training tonight because I've trained so much today. And also then I have the wheelchair fencing training camp, uh, national camp this weekend. Uh, so... I'm not training tomorrow, I'm gonna to take the day off just before that so I can kind of recuperate a little bit and lick my wounds because I got <sighs> sabred pretty hard. It's a violent weapon, that. Anyway, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Happy